Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are reacting to Eminem Nail in the Coffin lyrics. Let's go. I never heard of this song. Uh, I've heard of it because when uh, Eminem did uh, this to MGK, I went back to like listen to his earlier disses and uh, this yeah, this was, so I heard it once, this is to Benzino, so guys, uh, since Eminem just does Benzino again, React, we decided to check out the origins of the story. So I, this is the first this I believe that mm -hmm. I'm in this Benzino. So let's see. This the beat is dope. Mm. Uh, I wonder who did the beat. Oh no, boy, this is that 2000s beat. I love this. I don't wanna be like this I don't really wanna hurt no feelings But I'm only being real when I say Nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap mm, <laughs> I don't know, coming for age It's like, they use that on him now So it's like he's, so ironic He's not coming for it They use that on him because of Eminem Because he didn't uh, he was young, Benzino, mm -hmm. back then. It mm -hmm. was it was coming because he looked like a grandfather. Because mm -hmm. Benzino always looked old. That's the thing. That's mm -hmm. why he's coming for him. No men have heart attacks. I don't want to be responsible for that. So the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. So put the mic down and walk away. I think that's a double. Because uh, I guess Benzino did a diss first towards Eminem. Mike, like, literally. He says so Benzino started first? So the way the beef started, if I, if I remember correctly, is uh, Benzino would never give an Eminem five mics. Because he was like the five? editor. Oh, five he, mics. Yeah. He was the editor at The Source uh -huh. and magazine. And uh, they would like, Eminem's album, they would rate it, would never get five mics. So that's why I was saying it's a double, because five mics is like the rating system they use. So Eminem said, put, put the, those mics, like the magazine mics, and walk away, and also like the singing mic, because I, oh. I guess uh, Benzino, you know, he kind of raps too, I don't mm. know. So he wanted like approval from Benzino? Uh, I guess, I mean... The Source was probably like a really... Yeah, The Source magazine. was a really big magazine, I mean, I've, those Eminem albums are classics, so oh. you know, they didn't get five mics, it's kind of ridiculous, mm. but... I don't know like the exact details, you know, but this is like it's, just it's, it's an equivalent to nowadays people want their Grammys, they want their billboards, they want the recognition. Oh, uh, yeah, from the basically, I think so, yeah. Okay. Would never claim to be no Raven Tino, an 83 year old fake Pacino. So, how can he hold me over some balcony without going to slow it back out as soon as he goes to lift me? Please. How can he hold me over some balcony? I like, you know, the the vision, the, the storytelling. Story mm -hmm. So you probably fall with me and I'll ask the puppy history. But then again, you finally get your wish because you'll be all over the street like 50 Cent. Ooh. This is before or after he signed at 50 Cent? Oh, this was after. Yeah, because 50 was part of the beef. Mm. Oh, uh, he was? Yeah. He was part of it too? Yeah, there's a, this is with 52. Uh, oh. That's the whole 50 jar rule. I feel like it's the whole, oh. it's like the same thing. But, so it's uh, like everyone jumping in? I got my guy, you got your guy? Yeah, it was basically oh. two cams coming at each other, oh. right? So you'll be over the street like 50 Cent, you know, because 50 Cent, he was shot, I mm -hmm. guess, laying on the street. And, so uh, is he kind of low-key dragging 50 Cent a little bit? I mean, no, he's just saying, like, he's using 50 as an example, because shout out to 50, if anything. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to then go back to blow, blowing his lower back out as soon as he goes lift me. Please don't, he'll probably fall with me. I know that was... I guess he's just visual. I, I don't think it's a double. I think he's just mm -hmm. visually describing off the balcony the whole that That's scene. Right, Fucking drunk pussy, fuck you, drunk. Give me a one on one. See if I don't fuck you up. Try to jump the rough riders when they cut you up. And you put Jade on a track. That's how much you sucked. Rough riders, that's DMX. I don't know exactly the history there. Uh, what? So maybe he like tried to get with DMX and DMX said go oh, fuck yourself that's you say nope yeah and you put Jade on the track uh, Jade I think that's Jada Kiss not Jada Pinkett oh I was thinking Jada Pinkett I know that's worth what you were thinking oh, really? I'm pretty sure that's Jada Kiss yeah with Jade on the track that's how much you suck dick in the industry 
where the twin is street hustling. You should be on a fucking desk in the source, butt kissing and begging motherfuckers for guest appearances. And you can't even get the clearances. You can't get the clearances. I guess he couldn't get the clearances for to appear in the shows. Mm. So he was just basically describing how he sucked. And lyrics don't even respect you and take you serious. It's not that we don't like you, we hate you, period. Talk about a midlife crisis, damn. Last week you were shaking over twice his hand. Now he's a buster. What the fuck's with that? You know what Okay. What's the, what's the age difference between Eminem and Benzino? Honestly, I think similar age. Oh, uh, it did seem like they make it seem like it's far apart. Who makes it seem that? Like and overall, that like, you, you you would think like this is like an old head versus a young person. Nah, I think they're similar. Oh. I don't think they're that. Maybe like five years old, but I don't oh. think they're that. Uh, they, but so I guess what what happened was uh, he was saying Obi Trice is good at first, like not saying, but like shaking his hand, kissing his ass, and now he rated his album bad. I think that's what uh, oh. he's describing. Track kissing us, kissing 50's ass and asking me what I know about entitlements Fight me, bitch, I got two cases and probation Fight me, sort of Oh, so he was saying, oh, what Eminem knows about jail life, whatever And you know, he had these cases with his mother And uh, who else? <laughs> no, he had his cases Because his mother sued him for something And uh, I don't know the details like that But somebody else Okay FCC because he said FCC won't rescue me some mm -hmm. maybe like with FCC mm -hmm. or MTV or some shit mm -hmm. I know about standing in front of the judge like a man ready to take whatever sentence he has What you know about your wife slicing the wrist right in front of the only thing that you have in this world A little girl, and I put that on her when this is all over I would never try to make her a star and eat off her Ooh, very uh, descriptive uh, what you And mean? a lot of foreshadowing too because Benzino, he's trying to eat off of his daughter's successes and he tried to, you know, uplift himself through his daughter and that's what created a little bit of friction there. So it's just ironic. Was he doing that back then though too? No, because Koi Luray wasn't... She was young. She was not in the industry at this time. She's very recent, I would say. Yeah, she was, she was, was, a, she was a baby. How old is Koi Luray? I think um, the way I was introduced to her is maybe in 2019, 2020, so, because she went really off on TikTok. So she's she got to be like, when he's singing, she probably was like five, six years yeah, old. Yeah, so it was, she was... So he really person. predicted that? Um, wow. I mean, I I don't know. They both have a daughter. So I think they may be similar in age or even. I, don't know I think so. Age. I think so. I don't know shit about I don't know that's his only daughter. He could have another daughter. Hmm. But what you know about it, pop shots, rock and spot For you the only white boy up in that bitch to stripping Pressing up your own flyers and your stick But shaking them bitches stop after spending six hours in kinkos Making copies of your covers of cassette singles To sell them out Okay, so I think uh, he's describing, you know, what he had to do to make his name out mm -hmm. uh, Pressing up Very, uh, wow, uh, the storytelling is mm -hmm. insane I kind of forgot how good he's a storyteller Smoking your tracer, spending your whole paychecks at disc makers. What you know about being bullied over half your life? Oh, that's right. You should know what that's like. You're half white. Vanilla. But did you know this? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I still have been But that's rice. interesting you coming for him of like his his, his, his race because Benzino what came up for him for his race. Oh that's why he's that's it's, it's interesting for either one of them to do that, especially if they both white at the end of the day. Vanilla I spill the beans and rice, I'm eating you alive inside. Jesus Christ, if you're that much of a gangster, put them right down. You should be out killing motherfuckers right now. Kill them. Right, so he's saying, well, Benzino, if you're about that life, why are you here? Now go, mm. go on the streets, shoot me up. A fucking dead, kill him dead, bitch. Shoot him in the fucking head. Go ahead, bitch. Slap my mom. Slap the fuck out of her. She can't sue you. She wouldn't get a fuck out of you because you're broke. <laughs> yeah, so he's referenced to his own mm. case with his mother. Fuck out of here, you're broke as fuck, you suck, you're a fucking choke, you're a selling coke. He 
takes the, all that back now. He's a change. He has a better relationship with his mother well, now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't he you react like, with the song where yeah, he apologized? Yeah, he yeah apologized. we did that reaction where he apologized. Yeah. yeah. And what the fuck you snap for, dummy? If you screw some crack, you make a lot more money than you do for rap. You never have no security. You'll never be famous. You never know what it's like to be rich. Like a bitch, ain't it, great? Yeah, so I'm just thinking, I'm listening to this and I'm thinking to the This Is We Did, uh, Jada mm -hmm. and uh, Stefflon. Oh. And this is very, uh, like, this is what this is supposed to. Like, he's going on and on and mm -hmm. on. And different shit, too. He's not just keep repeating the same shit. Mm -hmm. It's like going in from different angles. I feel like this is a better This He Did than he did in the Lyrical Lemonade. For Lyrical Lemonade, I feel like it's, it's giving me a different kind of energy compared to this one. This one, he really went off on that. I wish he, you know, did something to play on nail in the coffin a little bit, give a reference. Okay, let me open it up to just put you back in there again, you know? Oh, oh I mean, a lyrical lemonade, I feel it was more like, oh, you still hear. Like, uh, Very different in terms of no, the this one, you quality can, of level. You can hear, feel the anger in yeah, there. Like, yeah. Lyrical yeah. lemonade. I feel like a lyrical lemonade. He was just like, oh, let me just tease. Yeah, lyrical lemonade. I don't know why he decided yeah. to come out with that. This kind of because if he was gonna go after Benzino again, I would want this kind of energy. No, because this is like he's like yeah. you can feel the mm -hmm. anger. Like the, he's mad. He he, yeah, you can feel. But that one, he wasn't like mad. He was like, oh, I'm bored. Let me just do this. That's exactly what. Yeah, exactly how it felt like. Here, let me break this shit down and land this terms for you just to make sure that you can understand it. I can't even stay using too many complicated fucking words for you. Here, let me. Okay, so cannabis catching strays. I know Eminem and cannabis had the beef too, so I guess. Mm, I've never heard of cannabis before. That's because they had the beef. <laughs> Career oh. ended after the oh. beef. Wait, are you, you familiar with them? Or? i only familiar with cannabis because he had the a beef song? with Eminem. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I know I that. Never. Eminem and his career, that's all I know. Mm -hmm. slow it down for you so that you can understand if I say it slower. Let it go, dog, it's over. I don't yeah, want to be it. like this. I don't really know. Ah, let's skip this video all the way down. Let's skip through the pores. Bitch, we even got him. Which, again, interesting that this has a chorus. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it. No, I, I'm not mad at it, it either, but... It gives a little time to reset a little bit, because how I imagine it in performing real life is that the tape is playing the chorus again, and you know, the artists themselves. I don't think you performed this this real life. Really? Yeah, I don't, uh, think, uh, I don't think you ever performed this. I think. Or to let the person have a chance to kind of like catch their um, breath a little bit, because when it's all the way throughout with no chorus as a break, it can be a little bit too much. Yeah, no. Again, I gotta pay attention. I'm just saying it's interesting because uh, when you know when we were watching the girls mm -hmm. deep beef, I, I kept making a comment. Oh, why is the choruses? Mm -hmm. Just to give the but I guess I mean it has a chorus too. So, but mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So. I do know that Benzino, even to this day, is struggling, it's, you know. It's interesting to see he's been struggling with money for two decades. Yeah. I, uh, probably, you know, you know, he put himself into, you know, building the source. He take a chance on him, and that happens sometimes, you mm. know. I, I, I couldn't put someone down for them trying a lot to be bigger than what they are, and it's kind of lame. Mm -hmm. right now, yeah, but this mm. beat is so dope. Mm. I wish Eminem came back on beats like that. This beat is mm. fire. Fuck your little magazine too. I need a little fucking magazine. I got double XL number anyway. Also, double XL was still around back then, so it's an mm. old ass magazine too. And it's still strong. Nowadays, everyone look forward to the freshman. Yeah, that's. I thought it was fairly recent because mm. I only heard of the freshman lately, like in like mid twenty mm. tens. Okay, so from I'm, Boston. From Boston, yes. I mean, streets of Boston. 
Oh. He's being sarcastic because Boston is not like known for gang violence oh. like that. So I think he's just being sarcastic. You know? Really? I feel like Boston. Boston? I, feel, I feel like there's stuff in Boston. I don't, Boston. When I think of like dangerous the way, cities, the way I don't they really talk, think of Boston. The way they talk is dangerous for me. I don't know. I don't. I don't think. Well. Oh. <laughs> when you hear a woman with a Boston accent, that's that's strong. Yeah, but I, I don't think. Uh, Maybe There's if you like, said New England, okay. I don't know if that was in New England, but in Boston, I feel like what this. What do you mean New England? Boston is New England. Yeah, but like if you want to pick uh, like specific cities in Boston, like if he's from like New England, okay, okay or New Haven, oh, okay. But if you like saying Boston in general, I'm thinking Boston in general. I think this does in Boston. I'm be afraid of somebody from Boston. <laughs> So the whole white thing is because the Benzino came for M because M was white. So I, that, that's mm. why M keeps mentioning, uh, mm. oh, you know, that Benzino is half white and Source has a white owner. Not, but not, not Benzino? Is it Benzino? I don't think Benzino is... Mm. I don't know if he's mm. the owner. Maybe like co-owner or something. Oh. I don't know. So guys, let us know what you think of this, this to Benzino from Eminem. This is called Nail in the Coffin. Let us know your thoughts. Of course, we're anticipating the drop of Benzino's disc to Eminem as of recent, but we want to take it back to see where it all started. So let me know what you think, what bars went hard. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our YouTube channel for more reactions to Eminem. And as always, 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 share as much kindness as possible. Bye, guys.